and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a special holiday stream. Happy holidays everybody out there. Um, we're going to be playing some winter decks today for the winter holidays uh, that are going on right now. Um, and so for our winter decks, we're going to go through and play all seven Freljord champions. We're kind of looking and poor Freljord only has seven champions. There's um, you know, like I think if I remember correctly, it was three regions that have eight champions, three regions that have nine, three regions even have ten champions. Freljord only has seven, and they're not even the best champions. So we're going to give them some love this holiday season, and uh, we're going to play three different decks with the Freljord champ. So we're starting with Brahmanivia. After this, we're going to have Ash Sejuani with a Frostbite deck, and then we will throw Lissandra, Trundle, and Trindamir all together. Um, for a uh, buried in ice ramp deck. All right, so we're gonna so we're gonna have three decks with uh, just only Freljord champions. But of course, we'll go over to some other regions for some secondary help. Not much. Um, you know, this one, of course, Brahmanivia is going to have some Shadow Isles for us to have Harrowing, Rekindler, those kind of cards to go along with the Nivia because they just work so well together. So basically, Shadow Isles is gonna help out our top end. Um, we'll also have a little bit of early stuff. Um, with a little bit of removal, we'll have like Glimpse Beyond Gluttony. Of course, the Gluttony goes so well with Anivia. You can see here lots of one ofs with this being a control deck <clears throat> that we're going to need different cards for different situations. We don't need, you know, like like a Chronicler of Ruin can be really powerful with Anivia or Rekindler or even help with Minion and, and Avros and Sentry. But it's not something that we need like a ton of Chronicler of Ruins, right? But it, it could be nice. Kind of the same thing with the box and so on. Uh, for our early game defense, of course, Avros and Sentry is really good, but we're also going to try out Minion. This is going to be my first time playing Minion in a deck. I think this could be a pretty good Minion deck, considering we want to prolong the game. We want to block. We want to play defense. Minion does that. Minion plays great defense. You play your Minion, um, like on round two, it blocks, it dies, goes back to your hand. You can play another one, and it just keeps on coming down and blocking for you. So it sounds pretty cool. But then again, Avros and Sentry is kind of the same thing, but you draw a card for your last breath instead of just creating a new minion in your hand. And a lot of times you'd rather, and you don't need two ones anymore, like when you get to the late game, you'd rather just dig deeper into your deck. So we're going to each of those. Um, we got some different Freljord stuff. We got Braum, because Braum's awesome. We'll be using Santa Braum, obviously. And uh, that's kind of what we got. So let's kick off our special holiday winter stream with Anivia Braum. All right, and so we have Pantheon for our first uh, first deck that we're playing against. So we have some decent cards against large units like Pantheon with um, like some Vengeance and things like that. I don't think this is probably that great of an Avalanche matchup, but I guess I'm not exactly sure. But I don't think Avalanche would really be that great. And I don't think we really mulligan either champion, so I guess we're just going to keep the champs. We'll keep Sentry. All right, Ruination. Could be good. All right, who do we want to start with? Maybe Minion? Sorry. Let me clear my throat. Alright, so Minion can just block for a while. Could use Ice Shard and then they don't get a gem. But, I don't know. I'll just save it. So that's the thing, this is like what Minion and Avros and Sentry can do, is it can force my opponent to go wide, right? And then they, you know, like, playing these things, playing Braum, forces my opponent to go wide, they go wide, and then we are able to uh, Ruination. So we'll see, could have double spelled with Minion and Avros and Sentry, decided to just go ahead and play the Braum instead. Looks like that's a concerted strike. Which, if it's a Concerted Strike, we get a... Oh, no, it's a Zenith Blade. Okay, 
Okay. So you may be thinking this is pretty bad for us. It's looking kind of bad, but they're using a lot of cards, right? Like, they only have three unknown cards right now. It's not like we're under that much pressure, and they're using a lot of resources. I've got your back. Okay, we block like this. We're taking two. I think that's fine. Can see the Demacian border from here. Yeah, Brom Brom did his job. Ate up a couple of spells, gave us a three gave us a three three still. Rom doing what Rom does. Something ancient stir. My shield is yours. All right, so that's not Daybreak anymore. So maybe they only have two Zenith Blades in their deck, or maybe they just have like their other Zenith Blade in their hand. But again, we're having them use a lot of resources. Which is just kind of the name of the game for us. I mean, harrowing and bring back more minions that then go back to our hand. I, go. I mean, our options are really between Vengeance and Harsh Winds. I think those are like the two realistic options that we're kind of choosing between. I don't know. I kind of like both options. We just, you just want to block and pass? Why would they ever? Why would you play a card if you're them? If, you, if I just block and pass? All right, I'll do that. But I, I don't understand. Yeah, they, why would they ever waste a card there? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that was the line. I ran out of time, so it kind of happened. But that, I don't think that was a good line. But things have overwhelmed. Yeah, we should we should have played something. All right, so just have five cards over there. They do play a Pantheon, they get Spell Shield. The Ice Veil Archer does not bust up Spell Shield. What would you have? I wanted to keep things for after Ruination, so I didn't want to play um, Tavern Keeper, but as you can see, they're kind of going all in here, so we'll go ahead and play a Tavern Keeper. And I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I am ready. Hey, Zeno JPEG. They have specifically Pantheon plus Rally, we lose. Okay, they do not. The problem, of course, with that was we don't have Harsh Winds anymore, you know, with that Anivia gone. 
but with them playing nothing afterwards, I felt like we'd I feel like it's okay to just play this Anivia. So I don't want to attack, then they play a whole bunch of stuff after combat, and then open attack. Right? So we're just going to go ahead and pass. It's only dealing five that we miss. Alright, Wounded White Flame's not too scary. Now Pantheon is scary. Pantheon can have Spell Shield. Alright, so no Spell Shield. Oh, no, there is Spell Shield in there. Right there. Okay, so we'll start by... So Vile Feast can bust up Spell Shield. So I could Ruination... I could Vile Feast Ruination. But... What's... I guess... I guess the only thing that saves... Pantheon is nothing. Like, they could have... They could have a Bastion for the Wounded White Flame, then... We still have a one... No, we don't have the one one to block. We still have, we have the O one that could block. Yeah, so Ice Veil Archer could work also. Like Ice Veil Archer just frostbites it, gets through spell shield. It just frostbites it. But then if they have like you know like they use like gem and they have another pump spell, especially with the um, faded, this thing just grows again. So they only have two cards in their deck that can possibly kill me from here, the two other Pantheons. Alright, that will do. I wanted to have like the things that don't have last breath. I just want them to die first and just get off the board and then whenever any of you die, you know, I don't know. Probably didn't matter, but that's how I was just gonna do it. Alright, one and O oh for our winter classic. So we're probably already shines. Alright, Shivana, really in soul, more Demacia Targon. Good for our frostbite spells. Although I guess we don't actually have very many frostbite spells in this version of this deck. Okay. So not as good of a hand as last time. We don't have a two drop yet for a good blocker. Yeah, the minion looked strong last game. Yeah, first time playing minion. Minion was strong. So the problem here is we only have two rekindlers in the deck, so we have both rekindlers in our hand and then also the gluttony. So like we are not drawing very well here, and then obviously Um Obviously we don't have like the two mana card to play at all. We don't like have anything to play here. So not a good start for us. Alright, cool. Gets rid of that. But man, that's really strong though. The Wounded White Flame can strike Dragon Chow, you draw a card, and then you can have your next thing strike and kill Dragon Chow, and you draw another card. That's insane. Man, this Wounded White Flame card is Dragon's silly. To get out. Hmm. How can Brom help? I 
So this is really, really unfortunate that we don't get to gluttony the Anivia into a rekindler. I am watching you, dragon. Man, I never beat dragons. That's just how it is. My talents are frost, my wings the bitter winds. And Brom is your wingman. <laughs> I protect this place. <laughs> Just draw ruination and also hope for no Aurelian soul. It's kind of asking for a lot. All right, so my opponent that hates the holiday season, the Grinch over here, already killed two Santa Brahms. All right, so of course the plan is to be able to use the Harsh Winds back on the attack. They had quite a curve, though. Dragon Chow into the two mana challenger, into Wounded White Flame, into Shivana, into Screeching Dragon. It's not a bad curve. I was one mana short from going Chronicler of Ruin and then still having Harsh Winds available. So I harsh wins these two. They strafing strike their Shivana, killing my dragon egg, probably. I don't know. I think I was kind of thinking about maybe just doing like the Shivana. Like the Shivana in this one. And they'd have this Screeching Dragon fight. No, that's not as good. What happens if we gluttony the egg? Like, we won't get it. Like, I guess Agnivia costs... No, it, does, it doesn't have Last Breath, so we can't. Like, it has to have an ally with Last Breath, so this thing doesn't have Last Breath. So you can't. We could do the minion, and then put a Kindly Tavern Keeper into play, but of course we get no bonus for that. three other cards. A ruination would be nice. Wow, what a hand. They curved out that one, two, three, four, five, and then just had another screeching dragon, had a life stealer, and then had a ruling soul also. What a hand. I guess we just send in those two. Rend Get a great idea, idea. Gluttony, gluttony minion plus soul spinner. <laughs> soul spinner to the three mana three two that gets plus one plus one fear so I'm not I died this round. We could probably aim a little higher instead of just soul spinner, but um, I like it. <laughs> I think we really have this game closer for Aurelian Soul, right? Because, like, Aurelian Soul gets, the, like, the different obliterates and stuff like that. Like, that's, like, the only thing that would have, that, like, stopped us. Like, Anivias just have the inev inevitability over all this. Yeah, and, of course, obviously, they get the Supernova, the best card they could have. So, if I do this... 
Yeah, that happens. Alright, so... I think we probably just need two Ruination, though. But then they still just have all 10 mana. This is really the only thing that stopped us. Was specifically a really Soul Supernova. A new era begins. So they're down to five cards. We know one of them is going to be the other random invoke card. We still have two mana to play out Rosen Sentry. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah, Rose says they always have Supernova, it's not even fair. Yeah, like that this hand they've had has been insane. They had the perfect one through five curve out. And then also had round nine uh a really insult. Here in your time of need. Shining gifts from the sky. I'm just gonna pass and see what they do. Okay. Alright, so we'll deal two to stuff. I will be reborn. This is our so they still have two random invoke cards. One we know for sure is a unit from Eclipse Dragon. My true form. Uh, considering Av so if I Avalanche. Kill two of those, kill my sentry. Yeah, that's true. I guess they could have. Yeah, if they have Dragon's Clutch Overwhelm, it's going to be uh, pretty bad for us. Okay. Thanks for us. <laughs> Thanks for giving them a Dragon's Clutch Overwhelm. Now, what a ridiculous hand they had. That was pretty absurd. It should be lethal, right? And then put us down to one, but then they use they should, they can just use strafing strike for lethal. All right, one and one. That was incredible. All right, now we got some scouts. So our different sweepers should be pretty good here. I think this is going to be just a better matchup for us in general than like how big the dragons can get and then the overwhelm and everything like that. You know, Avalanche, Tavern Keeper, Brahm, and Nivia. Alright, Santa Brahm, hopefully you don't die all the time like against six power screeching dragons. I played Braum on 4, it died immediately, then I played Braum on 5, and it died immediately. <laughs> Last game. Their hand was nuts. Kind of feels like we need more of those two drops. Maybe. So no elites. My shield is yours. They are going pretty wide. 
what Braum does, forces them to go wide. You'd assume they would just go attack all, even though they have a scout, like they should just attack all. Puts me down to seven. Luck! What's up, Luck? Thank you so much for that resub. Yeah, back for a holiday stream. We're going all winter. Okay, so if I avalanche, Poro dies, those three die, the barrier goes away here, but then they can still they challenge Braum and kill Braum, and then they can challenge Tavern, trade with Tavern Keeper and deal one to me. It's like, the best thing they do is they my entire board dies, we take, and their, everything but their stony dies, and we take one damage. Otherwise, one, two, three, we're looking at taking three damage. I think I'll just go take heart instead. This works much better that they're challenging the Braum instead of challenging like the Mighty Poro. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Yeah. They can't have Rangers resolve because of Stony. We know like they're tapped out. Like they could have played a one drop, another unit. Alright, so block here, go to five, block here, go to six. Um, block here, go to four, or go to seven. Let's go to seven. My talents are frost, my wings the bitter winds. And Brom is your wingman. I kind of feel like the only way we lose, like if I attack, like we're in a really good spot as far as like blocking goes. If I attack, maybe they like they're able to like play three things out wide after attacking and then open attack and get us. Maybe it's asking a lot, but that's kind of about it, right? Like passing here, we had the option of like double avalanche or minion plus harsh winds, depending on what happens. Uh, now we even have the option for ruination or harrowing, I guess. Aw, Santa Brom! Yeah, Santa Brom! At least we got Santa Brom. Level up. And then the win. Two and one. Yeah, Reaper says, honestly, the winter board is my favorite board. Dude, I can completely understand that. This board is awesome. I like the, the winter music and stuff, everything, too. Talia Zig, some landmarks. What we have against landmarks is is like this good enough to stop them? Like avalanche, like round three we can go avalanche plus century, but then we go like blighter ravine, or maybe we send that back and keep like these two. Talia Ziggs, what? You keep the ruination, you think? Like, is this card like not even that good? Like, does avalanche maybe just doesn't even kill stuff though? Does it? Oh, maybe send that back. Like what? Like what are we killing with Avalanche? I don't know. Rock hoppers. That's true. Kill rock hoppers. Oh no, we got caught. We fell into their trap. <laughs> All right. Minion. No. 
see the Nebastian board? Some games where I really want Troll Chant, like whenever we have Braum. Like, Troll Chant would have been awesome against the Dragon deck with Braum, keeping Braum alive. Alright, so just trading two mana for two mana, and we both draw cards on all that. Ramp it up. Let's get that mana. The earlier you can ramp, the better. All right. Because do we want like vulnerable Braum? I guess the minion can be vulnerable. I suppose. No, second place. No one likes a bad winner, Sammy. No one. Yeah, Sammy. Four to five. Oh man, we fell for it again. What are we doing? We keep falling for it. I could use some more card draw. <laughs> yeah, they level Talia with only rolling sands. Our hand's not very good, as you can see. I could see us losing this. They have more cards in hand than we do. Oh man, that's a great card. I would love to have that. Thing I like about Avalanche, so it eats up the other vulnerable thing on my 3-3, three, three. it puts the minion back into my hand, it kills their 3-1. Just doesn't seem like enough. Yeah, we're missing a Nivea or Okay, okay. Yeah, missing Nivea, missing like howling, like howling abyss would have been great the last couple of rounds. Yeah, another like threat to put out there. That would have been pretty nice. So they used a the absolver. I don't really see what I'm doing here. That's a wonderful card. I just have nothing. Like, the problem with the, pro you know, like, Ruination's kind of like the, the card to play here, but the problem with that is, like, then, like, we need Ruination for the 8-mana eight, the eight card. Like, that's the thing, but now, yeah, like, their hand is just a lot better than ours. Yep. Alright, good, good hand opponent. I guess that's, I guess that's it. It's just good hand, <laughs> you know. Definitely use those kind of cards like those Preservariums. Um, no Anivia for us. They have Talia, like if they have more Talias, if they have the 8 mana card. That's a good sign. That's not a good sign. Shurima can be good against like these Shadow Isles controls. Like that, this is like what Shurima, like how you know how like Shurima just like doesn't have removal and stuff like that. Like Shurima is not good against Sacro. Shurima is good against these Shadow Isles controls because they they do have good card advantage. They have really good size. Uh, they have good threats. That kind of stuff. Like this is what landmark decks uh, want to face. This is where you succeed as a landmark deck. in the door. No, Tavern Keeper does not look good here. I mean, it's it's my best play, but no, I would not say that it looks good. Like this is like what so it's a block and give them that thing. This looks horrendous. I just don't have any uh, any options. 
We need the Nivea. Wow. Third Pokey Stick? Yeah, so Heron would draw two from the two ones and uh, from the arrows and sentries, and they would also create another minion to put in our hands. Yeah, there. Their hand was quite good, and we didn't have Anivias. So, two and two. Yeah, we don't have any treat in the deck because of Braum. I wanted to have these two mana blockers instead of Entreat, Minion, and Avros and Sentry. Which we had a decent, you know, we had a good amount of those, but... Going down to four, the Ziggs here that's just going to burn us out with its ability. Problem is, you know, like, you know, they had more card draw than we did. They had triple, triple the two mana one one, you know, deal one, draw a card, and they also had the Preservarium. That third Pokey Stick in particular really hurt because that, you know, that canceled out my glimpse beyond that third Pokey Stick. That one really hurt. So playing the minion here is not a good play with Blighter Ravine. I basically did that to see if they like play something else into the Blighter Ravine. Um, but like, because the Blight Ravine is going to kill the minion at round start, and so therefore we won't have a minion to be able to play next round. So it's not a good play together, but with Heroin going to be my play next round, I went ahead and did it and see if they would play anything else into the Blight Ravine. Obviously there's lots and lots of ways we can die, but I hope they don't have any. That's one of them. An extra big bomb! Hoping attacks for eight right now. And it has elusive. I think it does, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it has elusive. GG's. Two and two. Tough matchup. Okay, now Probably a lower to the ground aggro deck, but uh, this is what we want, like as we saw against the scouts deck. Hopefully, our uh, sweepers do better. Yeah. For this kind of matchup. Um, however, both of their champions do have three health Ari and Lulu. Both have three health, and these only deal two. Okay. 
So they want Lulu to grow Ari, right? Like, that's what they want to do. They want Lulu to support Ari and uh, grow Ari. Because uh, if they go the other way, then they just put Lulu back into their hand and they don't actually get a support. So, because of that, we're going to go ahead and Frostbite Lulu to make it where if they just go Lulu support Ari, then we block Lulu. And that's not as good for them. But I guess they don't mind. They must have... You know, some kind of recall or, and or trick. A shot of Mystic. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's go like this. Alright, so maybe I should just vile piece of the Ari. thinking is that Braum's going to be a very good defender against them. Could see passing, could see not even attacking. I pass, they waste three mana. I waste zero mana. I'm going to do that. Decisions are not... You know, they don't get easier. Ionia can just do so much stuff. So much stuff can be done. It's taking seven. Okay, so it would have been us taking eight, right? Because the RA puts that back in their hand. Take eight, Braum survives. That goes back to their hands. Alright, get the three three. Spell Archer could be kind of cool. Um, man. I guess heal Nexus? Or maybe heal the... No, actually, maybe we just heal the 3-3. Three, three. These things kind of heal the Nexus. What's up, Omega? Doing good? Alright, so we'll kind of see what they got. They're obviously going to have something, but... No, it's Nopify? That's like the only thing that was bad for us, right? Like if it was like something else that protected. Wow, and then another one of those. Um, Yeah, that was pretty good. Nopify was the only thing that was bad for us. Yeah, that's... Unfortunate. Doesn't matter which one we block. It's down to four. We have killed two Lulus. One candle for every sun.
Two Lulus are down. This is still the same Ari uh, from round two. Sinus, your arrival honors us all. Okay, they got a good card advantage. Good draw two. I like that. So if you Frostbite Ari, then Ari doesn't attack strike, so then doesn't recall. Yeah, more of those things. A chill in the air. You rule the forest, Simon. Wow, another one of those. Wow. Get this Ari out of here. Not very cost efficient or anything like that. The good thing about doing that, of course, is then then we get to Harrowing, we get to put another Rekindler in, which puts another Brahmin. Um, they are at 9, so maybe we can go wide for a lethal attack here. Lethal? Question mark? Let's do something about two of these. There we go. All right. Good win. A nice three and two record for Anivia Brom. Starting off our winter holiday special stream. All right. Yeah, so again, we had Santa Brom bringing it home. Good job, Santa Brom. Um, pretty cool little deck here. You know, like both of our... Uh, losses felt like really, really good hands from the opponent, and some of those wins were still really good hands from the opponent, but we were able to uh, get them out. It definitely felt like our deck was pretty powerful. Um, winning that last one, even without Anivia, I think we won two of them without Anivia, right? Like, just with Braum uh, doing his thing. Uh, yeah, we did. And so, I think this deck's going to be really strong against the aggro decks, um, as we saw, like, the, like just having Avalanche, Bladder Ravine, and then also, like, Braum and Anivia, right? Like, you're both your champions, these cards, you're going to be real good there, and then sometimes you can even Ruination and everything like that, but, um, Aurelian Soul is going to be the, probably the, one of the most difficult cards in the format, because they get Obliterate, they get the Double Obliterate, yeah, Double Obliterate card, right? That, that game was pretty crazy, how they had zero mana, Double obliter Obliterate, there for Anivia, that's probably why we lost that one, but um, awesome. You know, we're, we've we been talking about like how Freljord probably has just the worst champions in the game. It's also the only region that has seven champions, so we're playing uh, them today. We're giving them some holiday love, and uh, we got three wins with those two, with those first two, with Braum and Anivia. So, really good start to the day. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and as always, leave those comments and um everything like that like those comments really help out the videos and stuff like that hopefully y'all are enjoying them i know you'll see these you know throughout the week these three videos um but that that's going to be it for brahm and nivia so as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video